Yo guys, it's up Shadow here, and welcome back to Space Engineers. Today we're building our mission control, or I think that's what I'm gonna call it. Um, on the stream last time, I was talking about how this um, area is supposed to look. Well, kinda. And I was referencing an old game, Wing Commander. And I've actually um, taken some time and looking up old Wing Commander footage. There's... On YouTube, there's like a two-hour compilation of uh, all the cutscenes from Wing Commander 4. And I've been looking through those, and I found exactly what I'm looking for, actually. Um, because I had the, a scene in mind, or several, where basically before a mission, you will go to a, like a mission control room, where um, you get briefed by this dude. And there's like a, a central console where your mission briefing is happening and then there's some some LCD screens around it like transparent LCD screens and I found the exact image I was well more or less the exact image I was looking for um, if I don't forget to edit in I'll put it up on the screen so there's this there's a center console and there's some some LCD screens around it that's what I would like to replicate in this area here now let's see one two three four five six that's a bit unfortunate to have this um, six in uh, in width, so I think we will um, change this up a little bit, so it will become seven. So we have a perfect um, centralizable, if that is even a word. Um, uh, so we can put the set the console into the center of the room. Basically, that's what what I would like to do. Um, yeah, we make some more steel plates. We'll need those for sure. Um, but yeah. Seriously, I was watching part of that Wing Commander to uh, Wing Commander Four compilation there. Um, I think like 30 minutes on my, basically on my train ride home. That brought back so many feelings of nostalgia. That's amazing. I mean, seriously. Um, you know, I, I I could just remember how giddy I was to play that game. You know. And basically, I remembered almost all of the things that happened in the game, it, even though it's so long time ago, you know? And that is kind of amazing. And although it also brought back a, a certain feeling of, of nastiness, because I know I got stuck on one of the missions on Wing Commander 4. And I think it was a, like a, not even a difficult mission, but you had to do something weird that you normally don't do. In other missions, and I think I didn't quite understand how to do it back in the day. Because, you know, when that came out, I was, I don't know, maybe 8 years old, 10 years old? I don't even know. But it was really young back then, and I didn't quite understand what I was doing for the most part anyway. So, you know, if you get to something that you don't understand, you kind of tend to get frustrated. And that's the, uh, one of the feelings that came back to me, which is kind of interesting. Uh, yeah, but... um. And then I also thought, you know, if that would happen to me today, you would just, generally, you would just look up how to beat level X, right? And then I remember, yeah, back in the day, you couldn't do that. Well, to be fair, when, when I was growing up playing games, there was the internet for sure. But there was never that wealth of information that we have today. You know, there were sites, of course, there was Google back in the day, but still... There was just not... You, do, you do, wouldn't find like 10 videos on how to beat that section. Most of the time you wouldn't find anything for it. If you're lucky, you had a magazine laying around. You know, one of these old gaming magazines back in the day. And if you're lucky, they had just an issue on that game you were stuck on with tips and tricks. Or stuff like that. But if you didn't, well, there was not much you could do about it. You, you would ask your friends, hey, did you beat that section? How did you do it? And then you had your friends come over and either show you or try that section. You know, you would take turns. And, you know, for, for one part, that is actually kind of a cool thing back in the day. That was kind of charming in, in some way. But then again, I'm actually kind of glad that if I get stuck today, I can basically just type into Google how to beat level X. And boom, there we go. It's so so much more quicker. But then again, you have to. Sometimes I feel you have to kind of restrain yourself if you don't um, get further in a video game, especially if it's like in 
let's say an RPG or something, you know, where there there's puzzles and stuff. I think you have to kind of restrain yourself to not immediately go for the solution, because it kind of ruins it, doesn't it? Well, that's at least how I feel it. I'll try for at least a dozen of time before I, I give up and uh, maybe look it up. Maybe. But yeah, back in the day, no, no, no such possibility for the most part. But yeah, that thing, uh, Wing Commander 4, that was full of great actors I saw. That was in insane. Also, it, it kind of reminded me when I was l watching it again. It is kind of terrible. You know, the cutscenes. <laughs> I, I think I understand now why um, they, they didn't continue with that kind of technology into today's game. Because maybe it was just back in the day. Maybe today they would be better. But back th these cutscenes sometimes were really cringy. You know, the acting was not bad, but sometimes you felt like the actors were maybe not as interested in what they were doing. <laughs> you know, as if, if they were maybe acting in a movie, but still. It's kind of glorious, though. To me, um, Wing Commander always felt like Top Gun in space or something. You know, the, the pilots, they all have wacky nicknames and they, you know, they joke around with each other. It, it is re and There's one called Maverick as well, I think, so... There's a lot of parallels to um, Top Gun, I think. <laughs> oh well. Oh, that was really that was a, that was cool that I discovered that today. I was I'm so happy about that. <laughs> uh, I almost want to play it again, but I think it, it probably wouldn't age well at all. I mean, obviously it wouldn't, but yeah. Also, it's it's one of these space games that has kind of controls like um, aircrafts in space, basically, which is. You know, or at least from the footage it looked like. I cannot really tell how it felt back in the day. I know you could, like, stop in mid-air and just, you know, turn around and fire. But you could also, you know, I think the normal controls were just like aircrafts, basically. Which I, I'm pretty sure that's not how space vehicles would fight. Although it's kind of hard to tell how they would, right? And I also remember oftentimes I would die, like, um, trying to land. Or wait, was that... No, I think that was... Um, uh, what is it called? Not Wing Commander. Um, that other... That other game that I often played back in the day. Still do today sometimes. Um, Ace Combat. That's right. <laughs> Completely different. Planes instead of uh, aircraft... Um, spaceships. But I know in... in um, um, Ace Combat, there's like sections where you have to land your plane at the end of a mission. And I know I failed a lot of missions because I just crashed. <laughs> Landing sometimes was really difficult. But gee, I, I, I do love uh, um, Ace Combat. Such a great series of games. Absolutely over the top and ridiculous, but I love them. Love them to death. Even Assault Horizon, which, you know, it wasn't bad. But it added some things that are not that Wing commander -y. Eh, sorry, um... God, now I get these two confused. Ace Combatty. You know, they added, like, a turret segment on a chopper. They added, generally, chopper flying, which is not terrible, but it's just not what uh, Ace Combat is about. Ace, about. Ace Combat is not about flying choppers. It's just not. It's flying cool military warplanes, you know, from... Um, the old F-4 Phantoms to super modern F-22 Raptors and stealth fighters and all that crap. But then again, Assault Horizon added like bombing um, runs with big ass bombers like the B-2, which I really appreciated. That was cool. But again, as I said, the like the um, the helicopter segments and the the turret gunner segments especially, because generally in games, turret gunner segments are meh. Because it's just, you're stuck at one point with a bullet hose and you just spray things down. That can work sometimes in the cinematic moment, you know, in a, in a storytelling way. But if it's like 20 minutes of that, then it just gets boring after a while, you know? But yeah. I, I, as you might have noticed, I, I tend to ramble more and more with these uh, um, <laughs> while we're building our ship. I always think I need to find something to, to be talking about, you know? Because, 
let's be fair, there's not much I can talk about what I'm doing right now, because... Yeah, I mean, it's very clear. Although, now, what could we do here? I think we have now, like, this little room, this could be an office, like the commanding officer's, um, like, private office or something. And then here will be, um, basically, the command room. So the, the centerpiece, obviously, will be a console block. Obviously. Like, right here. And then we'll have some transparent LCD screens around, and then some workstations, and stuff like that. I think that could be quite cool. RVTC, military escort. Mm-mm-mm. All right. What is that, even? RVTC. What is that faction? It's not one we pissed off, obviously. Righteous trafficker. No, uh, revolutionary technolo. Jeez, sorry, technolo. <laughs> All right, I don't feel like raiding ships today. Well, generally, right now, I'm, I'm in building mode at this point. You know, I'm just trying to remember back in the day. You know, when I was playing the things like Wing Commander. There were other games I was playing back then. Some of which I didn't quite understand. The, the cool thing is, back in... I know, I remember um, that back in that era, I got my first contact with uh, the Elder Scrolls series, with Elder Scrolls Morrowind. And I loved the game, but there was a little problem. Um, I think I got the game from... My father, for some reason, my father had that game. Like, in a bunch of CDs, he had it. He never played it, but maybe he bought, like, a collection of games or something, and there was that in it. And the problem is the um, Morrowind was only English, the CD that we had. And, you know, back then, I couldn't speak English. I didn't understand English. My brother did, but I, I wouldn't run all the time in my brother's room just to ask him questions. That would be weird, right? Hey, can we? Can you tell me what this guy said? Okay, thank you. Five minutes later. Hey, can you tell me what what I, what I said to this guy now? No, okay. But you know, I was playing Morrowind a lot, even though I completely didn't understand what I was doing. That is kind of the amazing part. I enjoyed the hell out of that game, even not even finishing it once, I believe. Because I, I didn't get the story. I, 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 I know I w it was fun to run around and just do stuff. But I never ever finished the story as far as I know. Which is kind of interesting. But yeah. Uh, that's just what I remember. And then years later I came back. Basically I, I bought myself one of these. Uh, you know collector edition packs with Morrowind. With... Uh, Oh, what are the all the DLCs that or or additional content that it had? You know, I bought all of these and then I properly finished the game, which I'm, I'm kind of proud. It's 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 like a moment of pride, pride, you know, getting back and actually being able to finish that one game that you never could because you didn't understand it. That was kind of cool. But yeah, I I played that game for so much. I know I pretty back in the day I pretty much did all the wrong things. I killed. Like, random people, quest NPCs, and I know in, in the Morrowind, um, back in the, this era, if you killed a quest NPC that was, like, important to the story, he didn't get back up again like he does now in, um, in Skyrim and such. No, no, back in the day, they died. They just died. And I think, if I remember correctly... If you killed like an, uh, an, an NPC that was relevant to the main quest, I think the sky like turned dark red or something and it, and it said this world is doomed now or something like that. Like really, really sinister, you know? But yeah, I loved uh, Morrowind. Morrowind was so great. It was just such an interesting world, you know? What do okay? Let's let's focus here. What do we need? We need bulletproof glass. We need um, construction components, and displays, construction components, and displays. Right. So you you see you've seen how I set up that whole thingamajig. So I think it's three set of sets of screen around, and the rest 
this place. There we go. And the rest um, around is going to be um, like either just desks or stations, something like that. And we'll obviously we'll put some interesting stuff on these screens if we can. All right, more displays. Ow, ow. <laughs> More displays! And let's... Oh, okay, that's a bit much. Let's also get some more interior plates. right -o, Let's do this. Beautiful. Alright, yeah, I think we can... Ouch! Um, put some interesting stuff on these screens. You know, there will be some graphs, some blueprints. I think that's... Good. And then on here, I don't know if I will put any specific thing on here, or maybe uh, later I will put like a holograph of a ship. Either this ship or some other ship, I'm not quite sure. We might just, you know, I think we made a blueprint of this thing, didn't we? I might have been, I might be wrong, but I think I got a blueprint off of that. We could put that on here. Oh well. Right, so let's get some... Some stations. Let's also get some desks. Like so. And now, uh, let me think about this. I think front here we'll have to do something here as well. Because uh, it looks a bit open. Over there. A bit too open for my taste. You know what? So let's put down some of these stations. And yes, I know we'll have to have 100 computers for each of those. Like that. And I have the feeling we want to, like, um, make almost like outcoves here. Like little outcoves here where we just put some um, blocks here just to, to make it a little bit more secluded, these stations. All right. And then here, I think we'll just do that. You know, we did this uh, in another room as well already. And I think here it works too. You know, you have the commander in the middle who is... Telling things to his officers and, and, and the crew is like, oh, we need to do this. And then he turns to one of these guys over there and is like, ah, oh, put this on screen. And he's like, yes, sir. Da, 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 da. Stuff like that. I think that works quite well. Also, this makes it all a bit more crowded. That's good. Um, now, here I'm still not quite sure what we put here. Oh, I know. We might just put some programmable blocks here, you know. Just some, some of these big workstation looking things. That might work, right? Have these in a command room. Oh well. Oh gee. Let me get some... Some of that. And then we'll put them down. Yeah, but I think this is, room is coming together quite nicely. I can already see it in front of my... Of my eye. My... My... Vision. Eye of vision. That sounds good. Like that. And then in here, obviously, this will be like the... Um, like the private office, well, I'm not sure if private office is a good word, but, you know, the office where the commander of, of or the, the, the guy in charge can maybe, you know, prepare missions, you know, file things, stuff like that. That's where he will reside. And then he prepares stuff, then he comes out here and briefs the crew. I think something like that would be kind of nice. Okay. Get me some, some couches, and maybe also some plants would be nice in here as well, right? So we'll put down couches, like so. Do we want to put couches here? Yeah, I think that works. And then some plants, like so. Nice office. That looks good. Okay. Now, let's get back to here. Now we need to weld all of these. And I think we just ran out of things. Pretty much. Okay. Alright, let's at least add the displays to these. Nothing? Okay. Is there anywhere where we have to add bulletproof glasses? Okay, steel is done. We don't need that anymore. Oh yeah, these have to the bulletproof glasses, obviously. So we also don't need bulletproof glass anymore. That's good. We don't need these to 
components. So let's get a bunch of interior plates and construction components first. I think these are the most used items. Also, let's get like 40 of those. And I also think I need some more displays. Maybe motors? I'm not even sure I need motors, to be honest. But we'll see. Alright, let's finish all of these things. Oh yeah, I'll need a lot more interior plates and construction components. These desks consume them at like an alarming rate, you know? Oh yeah, I do mo need motors apparently. Also, more computers definitely needed. What do I have in my inventory left? This place and... Ah yes, right, for the... These things, the steel tubes. That should be enough as well, so we don't need those anymore. Nice. Oh. No. Everything good. Right. So let's also grab a bunch of computers. We need at least, I think, 300 computers. At least, I think. So let's grab such amount. And then we'll just fill up with... Uh, yep. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Alright. There is station one. Station two. And station number three. Critical. Yeah, yeah, I'll get there in time. Don't you worry. Don't you worry your pretty little head. And we're out of material once more. Also, we need more computers. Also, large tubes, apparently. Alright. Well, obviously... Oh, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, make some of those, please. Where are the large tubes? There they are. Mm-hmm. Let's just grab some more. There we go. Now, refill time. Desperately. Urgently. Good. I think we could at least, um, you know, lay the ground foundation of everything today. You know, all the furniture. Which means next time on stream we'll top that off with the ceiling and uh, the all the conveyors and vents. And then will be the next part, which is the hallway. Like, right here. So, I'm not quite sure how how much we can do. Of this part, because this part also kind of depends on what is going to come below and above it. So we might just start to play it out a little bit, and then we might have to just wait until we get all of the other stuff completed before we go in there. But yeah, we can at least make the um, uh, the general area we can already lay that out yeah I think we only need interior plates now and uh, construction components should make it a little bit easier to get all of that yoink yoink don't even know how much I can carry all of the oh okay about 160 each that's good to know. There we go. Yeah. All right. Here comes the big desk. Oh god, look at that. Already out of material again. That's insane. These decorations consume so much material. That is insane. Right. Oh, at least we have some more construction components now. That's nice. Nice. Hopefully that will be enough. Let's see. Yep. All right. All right. Come on. Yeah. 
Oh, what? I forgot the bulletproof glass on that. Really? Gotta be kidding me. I thought that I placed all of that before. Mm. That is annoying indeed. Also, I completely forgot if I need to bring uh, construction components or interior plates for the next part. Construction components. Okay. Right. So now what I will do, just for so we can actually have a good screenshot, is to uh, put all images on here. You know? So let's put... Let's put... What should we put on here? Um, let's put one graph on here. Graph one. We'll start with that, I think. It's a bit of a weird thing to have in mission control because it looks more like a, um, you know, an econom economical graph, but that's okay. Then let's add one blueprint. There we go. That looks more like mission control E, right? And then in here, I think here will be another graph as well. Uh, let's go with graph two for now. Uh, there we go. That looks okay. And then I, I think here on the central one, perhaps, let's see, there is like a, not a faction, although, wait, we might just put a faction, do we have, are we a faction? Oh, wait, I, could I do that? If you put a faction on here, does it just display a random faction? That's kind of weird. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I think what I could do, actually, I'm not quite sure if it works that way, but I think I could add... Oh, where is it? There. Script. Faction icon. Oh, wait. No, no, no. This needs to be here. I think this needs to be on this one. That's better, right? That's way better on this. Script. Oh, that's annoying. That is... Oh, the, the orientation is... Hmm... Okay. How can I make sure that the orientation is correct? Is it like... like The way I'm holding it right now, is that correct? Let's see. Okay, let's try here. Script... Faction icon? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, hold on. We'll uh, we'll put an image on here. Not a not this. Not the faction. That is wrong. But poster. I mean that kind of looks kind of generic though. Um, mm, I'm just trying to figure out what would look good here. You know, I don't I don't think we want all of them to be like some weird. Um, hmm. Space SC logo. No, that looks weird as well. Great. That looks weird too. I'm not quite um, sure about this one. Keen Software House. <laughs> no, Trinity. That kind of looks cool. I think we can go with that. Then let's add here another... We have... To, I think there's like three blueprints in total. So we'll use all of them. Yeah. Um, so we'll add graph three here. And then here will be... Um, blueprint two. Just for some variety. There we go. Blueprint two. And then here, here the blueprint will be on the, I think in the middle. That would be good, I think. So here will be blueprint three. There we go. And here will be graph four and five, respectively. Uh, let's let's put graph five here. And then graph four right here. Yeah, I think this is coming together. You know, for from a style perspective. It would be kind of cool. Can we color these differently? 
I don't think we can. I think they have like a default color, these, these images. It would be cooler if, if they were red. But yeah, you know, um, I think that works for a command room. Don't you think? Maybe back here, these screens as well. We might as well want um, try to get something onto these as well. Let's see, text and images. Um, what could we... What is a, the batch? What, do, what does the batch look like? Yeah, I know, that does look weird. But yeah, I think we could just put those on here. You know, just like a random screensaver. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Trinity. Maybe Trinity is like... That's like the, um, the operation system that is used on the computers in this space station. Or in this ship. Trinity OS. There we go. That looks decent. Right? The command room. Mission control. Whatever. Whatever you want to call it. Uh, hold on. For the screenshot, everything needs to look perfect. Much better. There we go. That looks nice, doesn't it? That's my Wing Commander control room reenactment. <laughs> Alright, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.